Hello, everyone. It's Ben and I'm happy I'm back with another reaction. This time it is our homegirl Grimes. You guys kept on saying I have to do this album, so here we are. I can't even pronounce this album. Miss Anthropocene. I mean, whenever do I know how to say words? Anthropocene. I don't know. <laughs> Anyway, you guys have said it's one of her best albums, so I have to get into it. I'm excited to see what her newest album sounds like as I've kind of gone kind of all over the place in terms of her timeline. Mm -mm -mm. The first song is called So Heavy I Fell Through the Earth Art Mix. So it's got an explicit. Let's see what this sounds like. Let's go. <laughs> slow and melodic kind of eerie it is and that you can actually hear her lyrics because that's not something you often hear and I think that's the first time I've ever heard her say the title of a song in one of her songs so I really like that <laughs> start the album so peaceful melodic cinematic so nice I love that kind of turn of that mm, towards the end as well you're like oh my god what is gonna happen I'm still so flawed that she does all this herself I'm like, still so 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 flawed and uh, you guys have told me she does the album artwork insane that one had a star rightfully so like I said it's probably the most melodic and nicest one I've heard from her the next song is called Dark Seed and it's with someone she's done a song with before it's something pan I, I can't pronounce it so excited she's bringing all back the oldies. Let's go. <laughs> That kind of mm, noise come in very similarly at the start of the, of the on the first song, like towards the end. That now mm, it almost sounds. I don't know if I'm just hyper reading into this, but it sounds like it's kind of started to get louder on these two songs. I don't know. That would be sick if this person. I don't know. I don't know. I think these albums just send me into like the weirdest trances when I'm listening to them. There was this noise towards the first song. I was like, mm, and then this one had it, but it was a lot louder and kind of got progressively like closer. I don't know. You probably are thinking, lol, bro, just chill. <laughs> Like that song, Creepy Eerie. I love the chick who was on it as well. Couldn't understand what she was saying. However, I'm sure she was saying really nice things about us all, right? <laughs> the next song is called Delete Forever with an explicit. Let's go. What? This is all acoustic. I will scream. Get real. Oh my God, what are we doing? Oh. Wow. 
Fivers, that was one of the, that's, I'm gonna still claim Kill Main Fivers, Life of V, whatever it is, as the best song she's ever done. This is the second best. Oh my God, I literally, I swear I was saying on the last one, I just wanna hear a pop, I wanna hear, no, oh my God. I was like, I wanna hear an indie album from her because I definitely think she could vibe that. This was the song that I've been waiting for. It was so sad. You could hear her voice, you heard her runs. Oh my God, with the acoustic, everything. That was the best. Nothing's gonna top that. Oh my God, how is that just randomly put on after Dark Seed side, whatever it is. Oh my God, I'm shook. I'm actually shook. I just want to listen to that song repeat for the rest of my life. Oh my god, that was so cute. I wonder why it's called Delete Forever. That would be very interesting to know. Oh my god, that doesn't even have a star. I'm sick of people sleeping on these songs that are just so amazing. The next song is called Violence. It has a star. It's also with I underscore O. I O maybe. Who knows? Let's go. Oh, actually, I'm just not over that song. <laughs> I just want to keep talking about it, but I don't really have anything else to say. Let me know, was that your favorite song? Oh my god, I really hope there's more of that type of music. Let's go in with violence. Let's go. <laughs> That was a banger. Love that. I'm guessing the dude that came out with Garrett at the end, he produced it with her. Amazing. Love that. Got so intense towards the end of that song. That was like, yeah, extreme white noise in terms of a nice melodic way that she was doing it. Love that. Again, so much lyrical content that you're getting on this album. It's definitely the best in terms of being able to hear it and things like that. Uh, when it first started, I was like, oh, I'm over this like type of music as soon as I heard Delete Forever. But then I got sucked right back in. I'm already here for like this, I don't know, like dark, disco-y, techno, rave. I don't know what the hell it is anymore to be honest. The next song is a song that I can't even pronounce. 4M, four, it's 4 and then I am, I, I don't know. It's got a star. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> I guess it's 4am is what uh, the song title is called, judging from the lyrics. I had like five producers on, that's the most I've ever heard on one of her songs. Definitely sounded so familiar that chorus, but I could not place it where that was sick. That was so high energy levels. That's definitely a workout song, that bit in the middle. Oh my God. Definitely the best album of her discography so far. You guys are absolutely so correct in terms of so cohesive, pop driven, lyric driven, just gets you going. I'm still not over Delete Forever. How is that? How is no one ever? said anything about that song yet like what the hell well number five bringing in the goods however the next song is number six my favorite number it's called new gods is this gonna give us the best song on the album let's go so eclectic this what type of music <laughs>
Jesus Christ, what it is doing to me. That song was beautiful, stunning. So again, I say cinema cinematic so often, but it's just so true. The pictures it just conjures within your mind is just insane. That's definitely a closing song on a movie or something. I don't know. Yeah, wow, loved it. One of the best on the album for sure. Guys, what is going on with this album? Oh my God. I'm so glad I didn't start here because I definitely think if you go backwards in a photography, you kind of uh, not, not be annoyed, but just not grasp it. Whereas when you've heard like 2012 and you know some of her older stuff, this definitely is like, what that no wonder she got to this point because she did so much experimental stuff. The next song is called My Name Is Dark. It's got art mix. So I'm curious to see why she chucks on art mix on it. It's very, very interesting. Hmm. It's explicit. Let's go. Oh, this is good. <laughs> what is this album? Oh my God, please be like a rock song. I'm gonna die. Oh, this sound is like... How was that a six minute song? Well, I do know because it just took, there was almost like chapters within the song. I started with that iconic like, I could listen to that like for the rest of my life. Then it went, oh, I don't even remember. It just went incredible. <laughs> It went, and then I think after it was really heavy, and then I remember just stopping and listening to the lyrics, because I think it was almost like the muffled. The lyrics are amazing throughout the song, but you don't really listen to the first half because you're just so enthralled with the music. Then the second half, I'm pretty sure she just repeats what she said. Oh my God, it's like, hell am I left? Uh, I don't trust the government. I don't know, I don't even actually know what the hell I listened to. And then it got a bit melodic. Whoa, 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 guys, that's, oh my God, one of the best on the album. My name is Dark Art Mix. Oh my God, that rivals Delete Forever. I'm so shook at that song, that is absolutely Absolutely a piece of work. I just want to listen to that guitar. I wish that guitar was prom more prominent throughout the song. However, having it not and just at the start, it just made you want it. And then towards the end, it came in again. Oh my God. I don't even know what to say anymore. Is anyone else as shook as me right now? <laughs> the next song is called You'll Miss Me When I'm Not Around. Let's go. <laughs> the lyrics I love so much that you can hear what she's singing about you know even though the lyrical concert on that was quite like you know emo <laughs> I loved it. it was like I got to heaven shit I regret it I'm smiling six feet underground I love that song that was sick a nice kind of breakup almost slowed down I would say chill which did you everything you could say chill and grimes in the same sentence a nice chill song but still had the beat and had the lyrics I loved that so much the next song is called before the fever let's go <laughs>
yeah, she said this is the sound of the end of the world. It definitely sounded like the world was ending. It definitely could have been the closing track on the album. However, there's one more, so keen. Loved it. This album is just absolutely insane with where we've gone sonically, productionally, <laughs> lyrically, voicey-ly. Uh, I don't know how to pronounce the last song, which is a bit annoying. Adore, adore you? Maybe it's adore you. Maybe a... Uh, Adoru, Adoru. I don't know, I'm never good at this stuff. Let's wrap the song up and let's have a good old chat. Let's go. Are we in heaven now? Is that nice? Like a car <laughs> Oh, it's coming. The album interesting way to end it it definitely felt from yeah this is what death sounds and then how it kind of went underwater and all and then it felt like we were kind of like reborn in heaven or whatever actually probably my least favorite on the album just in terms of yeah it went for seven minutes it was an amazing song just to really sit back listen and almost like debrief from the album so in that sense it was really nice it just yeah it didn't kind of grab you like all the other songs but in terms of I guess what you need it's almost actually was good in the sense of I, I feel a bit more relaxed and calm <laughs> and not as drained so maybe that was the intention of the song. Guys, what an album. Absolutely her best. When you've got Delete Forever. I actually... What were my other favorites? Like, I definitely love New Gods, 4AM. My Name Is Dark. Like, My Name Is Dark was absolutely incredible. So amazing. So cohesive. I love that you could actually hear her. Her chucking out Delete Forever. Just giving me that song that I really needed from her. I would love an album like that. Totally. Oh my God. It would just be incredible. Like I said, because she's such an amazing producer. I think she could produce one of the best indie albums ever existed. Created. Wow. What did you guys think? What's your favorite song? Hit me up down below. Give me all the info on the tracks. What am I missing from any of them. What are their names? What's that 4am? What does that mean? Wow. Incredible, 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 incredible. I'm so flawed. I'm so impressed. I cannot wait to play that a million times over. Let me know what else you want me to react to. I'm getting through the list. This list forever grows. So I am sorry if your song hasn't come on yet or your album hasn't come up. It will eventually. <laughs> I promise. Hit subscribe, hit like. I'm on Instagram at gripping. Let me know. Hit me up. Say hey, say good day, say yo, and all that. Hope you're having a great day wherever you are. I'm going to have a great day wherever I am. Benny is going to get.